Greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back to the Farts and Crap Show and Friends. I'm here with Seth and Kate and Jade. And we are here with Aqua on the good ship Lollipipper? I don't know what the ship is called. Well, mm. it, the translation is Lollipop, but again, it's an alien ship, so its actual name you pronounce you it is Arnstrand. <laughs> How do you know what the name of the ship is in English? They tell you in Lilo and Stitch. What? It's probably also in your journal. I'm inclined to believe you, but like... That's a bad choice. Okay, so those guys explode. So yeah. you want to stay away from them when they I, stop I, rolling. I've seen Dragon Ball Z enough times to see that one coming, because it started inflating. Yeah. I think it was... What's that? Cell who blows up on everyone. Imperfect cell, yes. So I want to say Boo had a scene where he kind of explodes? Yes, he did. But he also turns everyone into food and eats them, which is like my favorite way of a villain dealing with all the heroes. Yes. Cool. Because if you were a super Boo, villain, that would be your power. Because <laughs> Boo did that at first and it destroyed a whole city and wounded Vegeta. Um, wow, we got a trophy. Yeah, which just made Vegeta mad. Yeah, and then he did the same thing, which ended up killing him, but he did it to save Trunks and the other one people there. Yes, but turning everything into food and eating it is like my favorite villain thing. Yes. that's Every time cool. you say Vegeta, I think Fajita. Fajita? Mm. I always yeah. thought vegan, like veg vegetarian, which is yeah. kind of what they were going for. It's Yeah, because all the names in Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z are food puns. So, plant Vegeta is vegetable, and Frieza is like the freezer, and then all the, you know, yes. his brother Cooler, and but his in dad like, King Cold. But in the first ones, they were all like named after instruments, because it was yeah. piccolo and piano and... Yeah, tambourine. Uh-huh. Which was the first guy to kill Krillin. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey guys, I did it before, it was cool. If it makes you feel any better, your Raditz was still better than ours. Mm-hmm. Uh, and where can you get all this awesome space food? Species. Speaking of space... Speaking of space... I was listening to Neil deGrasse Tyson's He's podcast. He's way good to listen to. At work the other night, last uh -huh. night. And they were talking about how we're just a couple years away from being able to do a one-way man mission to Mars. Mm -hmm. And like, there's a lot of people that have already volunteered to go, but there's a lot of like debate of the ethics of doing a one-way mission mm -hmm. to Mars. And I was like, would I be willing to do a one-way mission to Mars? I'm like, sometimes going out to Mars sounds nice, but it looks just like Phoenix, so I may as well just drive to Phoenix. But cold. But cold. Now, like, do mm -hmm. I really want to die on a planet that looks like Phoenix? Well, because part of the problem is that Mars is still really far away with how fast we travel. Yeah. Yeah. That's what, yeah. And but, so, you're, like, you're ooh. sitting in a tin can for months. I think that's where you came from, Seth. So. And then I'm just trying to kill the thing. You would go onto this desolate planet of rocks and try to survive for as long as you can, and then you die there. Can I say it not that way? Yeah. And then eventually you die there, which I think is like, for some people that would be very good. Yeah. Because I mean everybody's gonna die. And yes. Like die, it... being the first people on dying, being the first people on Mars is a pretty cool way to go. Oh, okay. no, it just looks so left. Like, it you just, gotta go left. Just all looks the same. It is all the same. Can't go Why left. can't you go left? That's so weird. Do you have to kill everything first? Because you already you came from the control room. That's where she's like, you need to help us. And then I made it all the way over here. And then. Was well, there a different way to go? Maybe you do have to go into the teleporter room that you came from. Beam me down, Scotty. I guess. Um, before you came in, Jade, um, we beat the Ice Titan and Hades. Oh, cool. 
And then yeah. we found out that these little guys are like as strong as that Titan, and I felt that that was incorrect. Oh yeah. And that explains why the first time we tried to do the ship without doing the Greek world first, because it was like nuts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it is what it is. It's a bit of a goof. I remember Seth finally being like, this is really hard, guys. <laughs> it, was just, like, it was just taking forever to kill everything. Mm hmm. Oh no. Your no focus. <laughs> Your focus is gone. I like listening to Neil deGrasse Tyson, partly because he has a good voice, mm -hmm. but also because he explains things really well. And he's funny. Yeah. He should be my our president. And he I would vote for him. And he explains fifth dimensional physics through Monsters Inc. <laughs> I haven't listened to that one. Seems appropriate. But there's this one that he does. That's, so his podcast is called Star Talk. Mm -hmm. Oh, the door's open. The yeah. other door's open. There's yeah. this episode he does with um, Kristen Shaw and Eugene Merman and some other Merman? guy. Yes. Yeah. What a name! And it sounds <laughs> like, and it's, and they're like talking to this NASA engineer. And they're trying to have a serious discussion, and then it sounds like Gene and Louise are just inter interjecting with their random crap, and it's amazing. <laughs> oh, I believe my. you've, uh, I believe you've told us about this before. But have I said it on the yeah. show? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. You have. Never mind. That's okay. It's okay. It's still a good recommendation. It's my favorite one. Yeah. And like, he'll explain the dissipation of solar light through spraying butter on toast. There was one episode where he was talking about how much it would cost for us to send our trash into the sun. <laughs> Which, like, relatively is surprisingly little. Yeah, it's how much still does it cost? pretty expensive. I can't remember, but it was expensive for a small amount of trash. I kind of like these little shoes. Yeah, but what if mushrooms. we, what if we sent all of our built-up waste into the sun? In one go. Yeah. In one go. I don't know. I think that's where you came from. The door is open. I think you're supposed to go through the open door. And he was talking about like how. To um, like how you would have to change a baseball field to play baseball on Mars. <coughs> yeah, it's just like random. Cause, yeah. Cause gravity. Like, first. Yeah, yeah, probably. And like you would need uh, less people for. on your baseball team. Yay! It's something we're gonna like, sell. Stuff like that. Yay! It's something we'll never use. No, oh, wrong okay. way, Seth. Wrong, wrong way. way. Open door. Open door. Open door. I feel like I came in through the open no, door. No, you didn't. Goodness gracious! This place looks the same. <laughs> it does. Oh, good. You found a oh. cutscene. I got. Okay. What just happened? Did I just like? No, you put on your spacesuit. Oh. Oh. Like they did earlier. Oh, because you have to go to the outside. Because you yeah. finished with the one room, and they said also on the outside the of the ship. ship or something. Oh, it's the battle racing portion. I am a Power Ranger. You Let's are. Yeah. Attack. Is this gonna be like the pod racing game? You mean the what in the? She uses it like a bow. Uh huh. That's funny. I saw that. Pod racer game. Ah. Okay. The Kitty fuck. Kitty cat. No, come here. The fuck cat. It's like, but this is mine. <laughs> there, it's out of your way. Come here now. Bitch, I'm a Beyblade. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. There we go. There you go. Thanks. Oh, that's there. a much better attack. Um, the pod racing game I meant the Anakin Skywalker pod racing game. That game is the greatest game ever made. Star Wars Episode One Racer. Yes. Oh, fine. They want to pick you up anyway. <laughs> the Nintendo 64 version. Sure. We well, got a launch. No, yeah, you guys had it on the computer. It came out uh, on a bunch of different platforms. I don't think we ever had a pod racing game. Does that count as beating them up? Or did no, you guys it's play just it at to the get momentum. Yeah, I like. Yes, but every time they hit, uh, they hit me. I think. I yes. don't remember, but I remember you guys played the pod racing game. Yeah, and you had Barbie deep sea dive. 
Yeah. That See, I can fun. shit on your games. <laughs> <laughs> We're not I wasn't shitting, on, shitting on it. <laughs> She's trying to remember. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and say neither of those are good games. <laughs> what? Is, is this working, guys? But Barbie, you're just spinning them out. Drive, you would swim around and take pictures of fish. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we kept, and Jade played it for hours trying to find an end to the game, and she's all right if she wants to lay down there. And there was no end. Yeah, I don't think we ever found one. Mind you, Jade didn't even play Saddle Club correctly. <laughs> That's true. Probably not. I loved Saddle Club. She, we're not even we're not even sure what she, what she was supposed to do, but she just played until she got a horse and then just wandered around the forest on a horse. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's not how it's supposed to be played. No, there was like chores and stuff. Oh. Yeah, there was like chores and mini games and like. I don't remember. You were supposed to like games. get your horse ready to compete. I yeah. think. Yeah, I don't know if you're actually. Oh, you'd killed one. Well, currently I'm trying to not hit yeah, these, but I, I keep running into them. Yeah. And I never competed my horse. I just oh, wandered around. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to put a seizure warning what in this video. What are you breaking? I almost, I almost had a seizure warning. But I played that game for hours on end. And it was literally just me running around <laughs> in the forest on a horse. Maybe with bad like graphics. <laughs> I had this horse They were game. good graphics at the time. And it just it lets you brush your horse and feed your horse and help with the stable. It was like... A, it was just super chill. Yeah. Why did everyone go through a horse phase? I don't know. If you didn't go through a horse phase, you went through a magic phase. Or a cow phase. I've met a number of people with cow phases. I think because it was, um, it was definitely, uh, pushed down. It was definitely, like, expected. It was, uh, very much through advertising. Very aimed true. Aimed at young kids. Yeah. So like, the girls' horse thing was like the center of like a lot of toys and games and like and TV shows. True. And TV shows, yeah, just like everything that's geared towards kids. If it was geared towards girls, they usually had a horse mm -hmm. in the fiction in some oh way, my. and there was always that perception of like you know, you ask for a pony for Christmas and you never get it or whatever. Yeah. Like, what is this like? I asked for a pony every year for so long. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's just advertising. Yeah. You know what your problem was, right? I had four parents that lived in su a suburban area. That's part of it, definitely. Were you raised by television? <laughs> oh my gosh, make it stop. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and then we were raised by television. <laughs> no, you didn't. Your parents didn't vote for Vermin Supreme. Oh, yeah. My parents didn't vote for Vermin Supreme. Oh my gosh. There we but go. But I will correct Finally. their mistake and no vote kidding. for Vermin Supreme. Jeez. Also, you seem a little bit close to that planet. You got the air slide. Cool. You can... That's not you. You can press square while in the air to slide through the air. It's called an air slide. She's like, I'm out of here. Fuck this. But, like, why Why is, like, a horse the girl animal? Like, the go-to girl animal? No, mm -hmm. no. I bet boys do it, too. They're just... Yeah. And, like, cowboys mm -hmm. are, like, a... Romanticized thing yeah. that boys, that boys go through Humans sometimes. Humans and the horses, or at least in this culture, maybe other cultures really romanticize the elephant boys. They're kind of cute. Um, it's just in all the media geared towards kids. That's what I'm. Yes. That's what I'm saying. You're not wrong. And we were just contemplating. So you're saying I'm right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. We were contemplating. Please the don't use double negatives. <laughs> We were contemplating the specifics of what made it that fight. Yeah, like how did, like yeah. the history of how that got into. You don't have to fight these guys, you know. Oh, good. Well, like, because, like, Black Beauty, I used to read that book a lot when I was a kid. Yes. And that's a really old book. I don't know, horses are just, like. Gotta go back to the, uh, cap, the <sighs> chancellor person, the chairwoman. Command deck thing. Yeah. Hi, what's up? How's horses? the wife? And like councilwoman, they, and like if you go into like early settlement stuff, like horses are a huge part of like Native American culture, and they're like a part of like the cowboy yeah, culture. Yeah, like that's that's and like, North American. 
Do yeah. other cultures have a separate animal? I don't know, but, but culturally, it is always a face the kids have. Yeah, but like I'm just thinking of like how long, like the horses have been in like mainstream media. Horses are old. Horses are old. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no, I was an obsessive horse kid. That, wait, what'd she say? And that's you not the area I'm supposed every, to investigate. You have to go kill everything in the prison block. That's not the prison block? Oh, there's. you have to go through the outside of the ship to get to the prison block, I think. No, you don't. It was the one he was in that you told him you don't have to fight this. Well, no, 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 that's the that. transporter room. That's not the prison we block. You were already there, though. I like, really killed everything. Else. Hey, Larry. Hey, Jim. Hey, because Kenneth. I've played this before. <laughs> Not B5, but before. Not B5, correct. Can you go that way now? No. Okay. It's just pointless. And, like, I had Barbies, but they mostly sat in the box. And my horses used the Barbie house and the Barbie car. Yeah, I tried uh -huh. going back outside again. Your horses used the car. <laughs> or can you use the teleporter? <laughs> in the middle of the room? Because they didn't have, like, the pony cars. And no. then I got nope. older. There's no, like, option. And I looked okay. through the pony section. At yeah, the just store. go back outside again. And, like, the My Little Ponies have, like, a remote control pony car. And my ponies didn't have There should be, like, car. a different exit. You don't have to take these guys out again. There should be a second exit out here. Uh, oh, yeah, just go straight. See that? Right here? Over there? Yeah. This one? Oh. You do look like a baby. Son blade. of a shit. Alright, time to go around. Uh, you should stick to the areas where I was told to go and stuff like that. I am a lawful good being played by neutral chaotix. Yeah. Aww. It's okay. We're gonna go back, I guess. We're gonna figure this out, guys, and we'll see you in the next episode, I guess. We might um, solve it off screen, I don't know. I don't know, yeah, probably not, but we might. I might look up what we need to do, but... Tell me I, your I, secrets, damn computer! I swear you're supposed to go back to the, the control room and talk to the lady. We did. You don't need to talk. You don't need to fight these guys, Seth. I know. I'm trying to find my door again. Oh, yeah. It's just the only closed door. Sorry, was that snarky? My bad. <laughs> just the only closed one, guys. It's snarky, but we live on snark and yeah. chaos and cuss okay. words. And that works. Caffeine. It's normal. So you can't go through that door? No. And, okay. Even though the Grand Councilwoman is totally right on the other side. Yeah. Um, I think it's... There was another door next to the... The control room? Maybe that one? Let me know when I get there. Yeah, just keep going straight. <sighs> like, just follow the hallway. <sighs> I mean, I'm not against fighting all these Heartless and stuff, but yeah, that door. This is the door on the other side that I can't go through. Oh. And it's literally the same door, but on the other side. Is which there makes a it second cool. door in here? Or is there a control? Oh yeah, no, there is another door. Okay, so try this that This is one. the one that says, I'm not supposed to go there. Son of a... me. Talk to her. There's gotta be something in here you need to do. I'm gonna go over here? Nope, that's not a thing. That's not a thing, that's not a thing. Hey, lady. Oh, yeah, her so mouth monsters is in weird. the prison block. Right. So how do you get to the prison block? Is like, there... try walking up to the control panels. Like, yeah. there has to be a thing. Tell me your secrets. Or like one of the other, the two front ones? You already tried Are that one. Are you one of those vegan computers? You already tried that one. Yeah, that one? No? Have you seen a Sam? Uh, I'm looking one. for a Jeffrey. Uh, Alright, well we gotta find the prison block, guys. So, we're gonna do that. We'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna make sure these guys eat some stuff. So. Yeah. You know how we find a prison block? We need some soap. You can always find prison blocks if you drop soap. That was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what they have in Minecraft. Alright, see you later. It's a heck in Minecraft. Mm -hmm.